Look at Sluggy moving their antennae. Wait, this is your house? I thought this was Banana Man's house. Nah, you found me second. Whoa, is he even escaping the dialog box? They can't even reach each other. It's a cardboard kata too. Anyways... Oh no, it's you again. Cactus Galactus Can we escape the boss arena? We can Let's fight Oh, you're helping us now uh, thank you. And you can fly too.
Sure thing. Well said. Hi there, four winged bird. Okay then. Ah, uh, you have to help the penguins too. Let me out. Thanks for protecting me, Charm. In many other titles, if I fell into the lava pit, I'd be dead. Like that. Do I still have dashing? I still do. Grass ability to dash, actually useful. Hey, I found a speedrunning strat. But I have to redefeat it, unfortunately. And we acquired the second magic fetter. Whoops. She's an immortal. She's blushing. Thanks for waiting for us. Thank <laughs> you. 
What happened to all the eggs? Silence. Act Two The Reason Look at all those flames. What do you mean? Aren't you an immortal too? What sort of chains? Or by force? We're friends now. Let's keep going. Let's save the world from this curse. Here's what happens if you choose the second option. Indeed it was. Good luck, Charm. Therefore, we lose this gift. A silent climb upwards. And thus, the story of the wizard and the slug came to an end. Only short-lived rumors remained of their encounter. All in all, it was regarded as an insignificant event, soon to be forgotten. What became of Vider is unclear. Or perhaps, it was simply stricken from the records. Bad end? Question mark? Hello there. We can hear you loud and clear. In essence, they rewrote the timeline to railroad us. Volcano. Roger that. Whoa.
Attacking only temporarily deals with them. And I suppose the lava is instant dead too. I'm curious though, why are the immortals still chained? I'm not going to drop down into the lava and read the sign. It's a trick. Oh no. I can't really reach it now, so I'll get back to it later. Introducing Banana Man Big Band Some levity after the serious conversation we just had Naps the book? What are you doing here from Undertale? I haven't. At the factory? Nah. Sure thing. What, are you half balloon?
Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Oh, no. I didn't think they shot back at me. Once again, the NPCs are very helpful. Welp. That's what I get for not paying enough attention to knockback. Now the game is actually becoming a bit tricky. Huh, they abandoned us. Oh well, we can do without them. Thank you. If you only have 2 HP, Slug here is rather fragile. Here are some hedgehogs. Following the pattern set by the other NPCs, they assist us for part of the stage, then leave us. A boss is coming up. I just know it. It's the Phoenix from earlier. Now with two of his checks. False Phoenix.
I was so close. Now the game is actually becoming a bit difficult, and that's what's throwing me off a bit. Beforehand, the game was fairly easy. And we won this time. Goodbye, False Phoenix. If you say so, Charm. We got the Fireball. Short range, high power. But won't work underwater whatsoever. No kidding. Can we not save it? can't backtrack either. Do I have a water gun? I don't think I do. Very well. And she decided otherwise. She had this power all along. Ah. So she does have a heart, buried deep under many layers of cynicism. Thank you.